are the IS-7, one of the first heavies in World of Tanks Blitz, because we had a limited tech tree when it first came out, and one of the first heavies that people wanted to get their hands on and play. But that was then. Now, well, it's a bit meh, isn't it? Nobody likes it. It's the, the person you give your phone number to and then ignore them completely. The person at the party you go out of your way to avoid. The, the person you, you know, you, you admit they're okay, but you don't really want to spend any time with them. It's a shame, because, you know what? The IS-7 is not the bad tank that people think it is. In fact, I've been playing it a lot over the last couple of days, and I've fallen in love all over again. So, let's have a look at this beastie in a bit more detail. And let's see if we can get some love back towards the poor IS-7. Hello again everybody, welcome back to Fuji Splits. And as I said in the intro, we're going to be looking at the IS-7. That's the beast there. It's, in real life, this was Russia's heaviest tank. Okay, one was built, uh, it never really saw action, but in Blitz it's a bit of an undervalued tank. That's what the armour looks like and it looks a bit really, well, solid. But people are falling out of love with this thing. People are not liking it anymore. Why? Is it really that bad? Well, this is in tank compare and as you can see, it is a bit meh. I mean, it hasn't got the best DPM. It's got really good pen though. It's got reasonable alpha. It's got a good reload. It's got a good rate of fire. It's got a good aim time. It's got good everything. It's pretty average. But look at this. The win rates are really low, 51% compared to everybody else. So what is it about this tank? As I said, it's pretty average. I mean, the view range is average. DPM is low, I get that. Penetration, really good. Damage, really good. Okay, rate of fire is a bit average. Reload time is a bit average. It's an average tank in that respect. But, you know, I was one of those that hated this tank. I thought it was just meh, rubbish. And then I ended up talking to a good friend of mine, the Ting Goes from the clan W1B, who swears by this tank. There is the IS-7 in the armor inspector, and as you can see, this is facing an E-100 by the way, and as you can see, it's it's pretty solid frontally. You can side scrape in it, okay, it's got a wide open lower plate, but does that really matter? It, it, it's okay. And as, as I was saying, I was talking to a good friend of mine, the Tingos, who swears by this tank in tournaments, firstly, and secondly, he has a kind of affinity with it, he, he kind of likes it. And as you can see there, you know, Wargamer recommend don't do anything with it. So I've been rolling out in it a lot. And I thought, you know, I've always been a new player in the IS-7. It's never been one of my favourite heavies. And I thought, well, that's not right. I'm going to give it a bash. I'm going to listen to what the Tingo says. Um, and I'm going to give this poor, poor Tier X heavy a second chance. And you know what? It's fantastic. This is a beautiful tank. It really is. And, you know, I think it's better than an E100. Okay, it's not in the same category as, say, the IS-4 or even the 215B. But you get used to this thing, put it in the right place. It is fantastic. It is a beast. Now... Up until yesterday, I, I played about 200 games in this thing, and you know, I, I haven't played it in a long, long time. And over the last 30 days, I've played about 40 games in it, and I've got a 61% win rate. And that's not like me in an IS-7. Now, there's a lot of things that I'd forgotten about the IS-7, like its speed. I mean, look at this, 50 kilometers an hour, it's heavy. I've also forgotten how good its gun can be. I've forgotten how trolly its armor really is. Now, I've never mastered this tank, I admit, but I've got close a fair few times. But the main thing I've had in this tank is 
lots of fun and I really mean that I mean I have loved rolling out in this thing over the last couple of days and I've learned more about it the more I have played it I've learned that you really can brawl in this tank okay wargaming don't recommend it on Blitzhanger but you can brawl in this tank because it's got pretty solid frontal armor long range sniping yeah okay you can do that it's got a pretty accurate gun as you will see here with this t62 and it's nice and it really is a true heavy and i'm still at a loss as to why this thing is unloved and i think it's it's just it seems to have been power creeps but it hasn't it's just that a lot of people swear by other tanks like the is4 for example and this this poor little tier 10 gets slightly overlooked bless it so we did 3760 odd damage there we're only going to get a second class but we had fun doing it and that's the thing so i'm still at a loss as to why people a are not winning as much as they should in this tank and b why they're not playing it as much as they should now like i said i've been rolling out a lot in it in the last couple of days and you know what i don't see many is7s on the opposing team funnily enough i've even been playing it in ratings battles and had a good time in it to boot so the is7 isn't the pants heavy that a lot of people think it is it's actually a pretty nice tank and as i said I have fallen in love all over again. I used to like the IS-7. Admittedly, when I liked it, I was a complete and utter noob, not that I've improved much. But, you know, I didn't know how to play the bloody tank. And my win rates up until recently in this thing, and my ability in this thing, has been incredibly limited. But now, now I've given it a second chance, wowzers. I'm doing an average damage over the last 30 days in this thing of 2,500. As I said, I've got a 61% win rate in it after quite a lot of battles. This is a beautiful tank, guys, and you really should get to learn about the tank a bit more. Once you do, seriously, you will like it too. Now, this is the last replay I'm gonna show you, and this is a game I did yesterday. And you know, I've been allowed to take this position in the middle of Canyon, which is a good position. Okay, it's not that good because obviously I don't have massive gun depression on this tank. So, you know, I'm, 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 I'm doing my best. Nobody else is in this position on my team. As you can see, we're already two tanks down. But I'm going to hold the fort here. I'm going to do whatever I can to sort of smack these tanks. And we're going to have a good time. And as you can see, even with a tank that struggles with gun depression, you know, we've already done just shy of 1,500 damage in this position and given the team a pretty hard time. And we bounced 640 from that object. Lovely. Because, guys, this turret is rock solid. This, the armor on this thing is rock solid. I mean, it's fantastic. And I just don't understand why I've left it so long to, to roll this thing out again. And I've been in that trap that everybody else is in, thinking that this tank is just pants. When actually, you know, it isn't. It is far from pants. It's a beautiful tier 10 heavy. And if you've got it and you've not been out in it for a while, seriously, give it another go. Because it is not the bad underperforming heavy that a lot of people say it is. And I really, really thank my friend the Tingos of uh, W1B for sort of rekindling my love for this tank. Because if it wasn't for the fact that he plays it and he says it's a nice tank, etc., etc., then I wouldn't have given it. Oh, that was a bad shot, but I bounced him. Then I wouldn't have given it the second chance that it truly deserves. And it really does truly deserve that second chance. I love it. I've really, really, really embraced the IS-7. And I, I, I just think it's fantastic now. That's a low roll on the HE. But that's what happens when you hit the front idler wheel. 
So, I mean, the grill is going to give me a hard time, bless him. But he's a grill, and he's going to pen me. And he's a really good player, by the way. He knows what he's doing. So I'm going to give him a, equally a hard time. I'm, I'm a one and a half shot to him, two shot realistically. Whereas he's a one shot to me. Or at least I thought he was, but I hit the barrel. <laughs> so, sod it, I'm just going to push him. <laughs> I'm going to keep pushing him until he can't get the gun anywhere. And then I'm going to reload faster than him and load him, blow him away. So, I got lucky there. I admit that. Just shy of 4,000 damage, top two kills, just got the ST1 to do. Everybody's saying he's a stock gun, maybe, but he can still hurt me. If all he's got to do is, you know, find that lower plate, and he, he, can, he, can, he can delete me. I did love this tank in this game. I mean, this goes to show that you can brawl in an IS-7, that you can be... A good player in an IS-7 and you really can have a lot of fun in an IS-7 so guys like I said if you've got bounce if you've got it and you haven't rolled out in it for a while give it another go you'll be surprised just remember and this is the thing to remember you know you can front line in it oh look at that there we go 4106 damage bounce 1620 did three kills we only get a third class, uh, first class because you know what? You gotta do a lot more in IS-7 to get more than that. But I had fun doing it. That's the thing and that's the trick. So, as I say, if you've got the IS-7 and you've not taken it out for a while, dust off the cobwebs and give it another bash. Remember, it does have trolley armor used correctly. It has got a great turn of speed and it has got a good gun. Just be careful other than that roll out in it and have a good time because i did and i loved every minute of it anyway i've been fujit that has been the is7 a tank i've fallen in love with all over again i'd like to thank my friend the tingos of w1b for rekindling that affair really i'm glad i took the is7 out again if you got any decent replay send them to me at fujitblitz at gmail.com by all means, comment, like, and everything below. And if you haven't yet, press subscribe. It's a beautiful thing to do. I'd like to go out and thank all my Patreons for their kind support, because without them, videos like this would be much harder to do. And I will say my usual stuff, guys. Until the next time, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking, because that is what it's all about, having fun and being happy.